yeah, so we're off uh, somewhere we've never been before. The uh, I've got the name of it now. Conan Ferry. Corran Ferry. Corran Ferry. Corran Ferry. Yeah, C O R R A N, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and then we're going to have a little drive around the coast. And I'll put a map up here, to show you where we're planning to go for another circular trip, but uh, just really to explore that that area. So uh, I don't think we've we've been on the road to the Isles, haven't we? But we've never been down that bottom bit. No. So I don't know what to expect. Oh, it's automatic on the way out. No, it's not. You've got to oh, the, you've got the to button. press that. All oh, right. Did that without me noticing. Yep. And then you have to wait here, don't you? Make sure you're on green before you go. Yep. Don't want me driving through red traffic lights, do you? No. That would be bad. <laughs> Some people sometimes turn, isn't it? There, it's inside yeah. for Bunbury. Bunbury, yeah. yeah. Especially Time. if they're coming uh, down from Port William, because yeah. obviously you haven't passed the caravan club sign. <coughs> so here's the ferry. There's the ferry out there. Yeah, it's a little queue. There's a know, queue, is it? Yeah. We've to make sure we get on the right ferry though. Those are two ferries. Yeah, there's one goes to Mal. Yeah. So do we know no which idea. one? <laughs> <laughs> Half the fun of travelling, isn't it? Maybe it goes across and then goes to Mal. It's the Corran Ferry, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We'll get on here. No. much of a view. No. <laughs> it says car drivers and occupants to remain in their vehicle up what there. Can I read that again? Car drivers and occupants to remain in their vehicle. Right, okay. Car payments only it says. Yeah. No, don't open that. No. 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 Yeah, we're almost there. Yeah, I know, it's only a short journey, isn't it? There's an inn across there, it's supposed to be very nice. Called the inn? Yeah, called the inn. <laughs> £8.80. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of that ferry at Rudersheim. Yeah, yeah, although that was a bit longer, wasn't it? Yeah, a little bit bigger. The big difference is this was expected, that wasn't. <laughs> yes. Right, we need to go left, I think. I took a picture of. 
picture of the other day. I zoomed in on it when okay. we were up the other end. Yeah, you were wondering what it was. I'm wondering where it was, yeah. yeah. This campsite over there. Yeah, you could be filming. I know. time we came I thought it was going to Fort William yeah. the traffic there and then realised yeah. no it's not we're on the A861 yeah so how long do you reckon that ferry crossing was five minutes five minutes yeah yeah if that and three minutes more likely shortest ferry crossing I've been on for a long time mm. So you could catch the ferry, presumably, to Mole from here then? I presume that's what it is, yeah. Yeah. It's a bit narrow down there. Yeah, A861 we're on now. Reminds me a little bit of um, the Outer Hebrides. It does, doesn't it? came across there, didn't we? Yeah. And um, we turned left. Yeah. And we come along here. Yeah. Along here. And we're just sort of parked about here. And locks and out. Yeah, and that's the road that take you, takes you to the ferry, that takes you to Mull. Yeah, OK. But we're up there. So we're planning to go up here, around there. OK. Let's just take him where we are here. Cottage over there. Ironies of ironies. There's a truck with a whole load of gas bottles on them. Yeah, well. Off we go. It's a lovely, peaceful spot. That wasn't it? Yeah, I think we've stayed there about an hour and a half. Yeah. Coming up to Strontium. Mm -hmm. I think we 
turn to the right there, don't we? I think it's the first one, isn't it? First single track one we've been on this tour, isn't it? Yeah. It's the village that gave its name to the element strontium. Oh, is it? That's what it's what said there. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's a joke. <laughs> now, I think a, a lot of our viewers might not be familiar with uh, single track roads. I don't think, I don't think <laughs> it goes on for much longer. <laughs> oh, I think it comes back. Does it? Oh, yeah. Right. So, we might uh, just talk about single track roads. Yards. Yeah. Forest walks? No. I think it's a bit narrow up there. If you wanted to do them, you'd have to park further back. Right, single track roads. Single track roads. That sign says a lot. Yeah. If you're in a motor, often there's faster cars behind you, so one thing you can do is pull over and let the cars behind you go past. You say, allow overtaking. Yeah. And one thing you shouldn't do is stop on the opposite, I'll pull over on the opposite side of the road. If you're at a passing place, you pull into the passing place. If you're opposite a passing place, stay on the same side of the road as you already are. This isn't a very big par passing place, is it? No, it's just a tiny, tiny bit here. These passing places aren't very big. No, no. Sometimes you get really big, long ones, don't you? Yeah. Depends how busy the road is, of course. following your pass because they can yep. often go quicker than you can in a motor. In fact you can see their brake lights as well, tells you there's perhaps someone coming. Yeah, you can predict someone's coming if you see brake lights. You've got narrow yeah. bridges as well. When we first came to Scotland a lot of the roads were still like this weren't they? Yeah, so further north you go. Yeah. We stayed near Inverness, no Dingwall, didn't we? And we yeah. went towards the west coast and suddenly found all these roads like this. I always think the best thing to do with a single track road and you go around a bend is expect someone to be there. Yeah, yeah, because often right. someone is. Yeah, to expect someone to be around here. Yeah, there, you go. And there we are, <laughs> in a Range Rover. In a Range Rover.
smells here. Artery trials. None of them particularly long, so that was good. No, no that's alright, that's good. You don't want long trails here. The forest trail here, you are here. Yes, that's okay. the Ardley loop. 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice place to stop anyway, and I was just seeing this earlier. Oh, it smells so fresh out here, doesn't it? Well, it looks like a sort of viewpoint. <laughs> viewpoint up here, pups. Come on, let's go and have a look at the view. Yeah. Go on. Down here then, Pops. Go on. Maybe mushrooms. Another one there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to see if they're edible, are we? <laughs> Wildlife hide along here. Do you want to have a look? Yeah. Go. Climbing again. Probably to pull you up. A little bit of climbing. Go on, keep going. This is delightful, isn't it? It's a bit of gem, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, there's like a <laughs> bridge here. Yeah. It says if you go quietly, there's no telling what wonderful wildlife you might see. as a mouse. <laughs> I didn't see anything though. And it's probably to do with having a fixed wide angle lens. But uh, it definitely looks like it's somewhere where bird watchers have to come. A couple in there with a massive telephoto lens. Absolutely massive looking at, I think they were looking at seals on the island across the way. There's no way we could see them. Could even zoom it in, in on the uh, on the iPhone. And after a little while, back at the van. Everyone else is gone. Everyone else is gone. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd it all go, pops? <laughs> Seen something interesting in there. Poppy spotted some wildlife. Yeah. Not going in there, pops. <laughs> This is the other car, other car park. park, yeah. Yeah. So if you just want to go to the wildlife, yeah, it's easy to park there, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, it is a bigger car park. Is well, it? No, that's not about the same. Okay. So the Sun Art Oak Woods. So it's this ancient forest, really, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. camera out the window job, isn't it? Yeah. So you 
hit the trees again. Yeah. Just have to stop there for a view. is up there. very helpful was it? It just carried on coming.
So what we're looking at here is over there is Malaig, I believe, and the tall mountains in the distance, I believe, are the Coolins on Sky. to the aisles. The aisles to the left, to the Port left. William to the right. on your right. Station up there. We've stopped there, haven't we? Is that where it broke down? That's where they, well, where they had to fill it out with water, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah. that trip really because it was such a wet day wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah we went on the Jacobite uh, train away and uh, it rained most of the way. Yeah then it broke down didn't it ran out of water. Yeah. We had to wait there for ages. To wait to that station whilst they filled yeah. it up again. And we just about got to Malay didn't we in time for it to turn round and come back again. Yeah. It's got things all across the oh, road. Yeah. Oh yeah. Looks like they're building another car park here. Yeah? Wanna try in here? You can try in here, yeah. What's he doing? He's gonna stop this kid. Yeah. 
kilometres to the left no turns. To here? Yeah. Buses only, they part in. My bus is running to here. It says disable parking, buses and motorhomes only. Oh, right. I'll go in this one at the end. Yeah. It's to the uh, disabled parking there, isn't it? It's disabled there, isn't it? Now, it's National Trust for Scotland, so yeah. it says members free, so that means we're free, don't yeah, it? Must yeah, be, must do. Come on, let's cross over. Yeah, so the visitor centre's closed. We just thought we'd have a walk to the monument. It started raining as well. Going, perhaps. Hmm. Okay. Can't go in, pops. Not allowed in. actually been up there, put my head out the top. Didn't think I'd be able to get out again. It was a really narrow um, spotlights on it. This is on the spot where Prince Charles Edward Stuart first raised his standard on the uh, 19th day of August 17 he made the noble and gallant attempt to recover a throne lost by his ancestors the column was erected by Alexander MacDonald Esquire of Glenaldale to commemorate the generous zeal the undaunting bravery and the inviolable fidelity of his forefathers and the rest of those who fought and bled in that arduous and unfortunate enterprise this pillar is now Alas, also become the monument of its amiable and accomplished founder who was, before it was finished, died in Edinburgh. And I can't do Roman dates. Uh, 
there you are. Oh, I never really noticed that before. There's a little graveyard here. What a spot to be buried. Right, I think I'm going to leave it here. The light's going now, it's getting quite dark. So we're going to make our way back via Fort William and back to the campsite. So if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, remember to subscribe, and we'll catch up with you on the next one. Yeah.